welcome back guys. This week we'll be featuring some past and new exotic colonies, including Tapanoma melanocephalum, Tetramorium, and Solenopsis molesta. Stick around to the end as there's lots of cool species and lots of cool shots that I managed to capture. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Our first colony is most commonly known as the pavement ant, scientifically known as Tetramorium. I'll be featuring two colonies in this video, and both of them have around 10 to 15 workers and have a steadily growing brood pile. Next up is our three queen Solenopsis molesta colony. These gals and the Tetramorium were featured in our past exotic video. If you want to see that video first, click here. Now these girls originally had eggs, and here's my theory on to why they don't have them anymore. I originally put them in a garage, as it was getting colder toward winter time. I think what happened was the imbalance of heat caused them to go into a weird state where they either killed their eggs, ate them, or left them to die. The water source cotton was a little bit colder in that area compared to the actual entrance, as that's where the heating cable was. This weird imbalance of heat might have affected them, as Solenopsis molesta are extremely sensitive to heat. If you guys have any ideas on why this may have happened, leave a comment down below. Next up is our final colony. That is Tapanoma melanocephalum. 
Now, before we continue, I need to give some backstory. This colony was not illegally shipped me. This colony was found inside a local greenhouse garden at a zoo. They must have came in with exotic plants. So, I'm taking the colony out of the public location where they were indoor introduced and putting them into a contained setup where the population and overall colony can be safely observed and controlled. This is my method for helping our environment as we wouldn't want to accidentally introduce an invasive species like this. This colony is kept sealed inside a container outside of the setup as well, so there is no chance of them escaping. If you follow my Instagram, you'd know I did a little test with these guys a few days ago. I actually filled up their water test tube in the outworld with blue food coloring to see if I could turn them a color, and well, it's slowly working so far. It hasn't worked like crazy, but as you can see, some of these ants do have a bluish greenish appearance, and you can also see it in this larvae. Since this is the first time I've featured these guys in a video, I thought I'd tell you a bit about them. This species inbreeds inside the nest if there are enough queens when they found. If there isn't enough queens, they won't inbreed as there's not enough genetic code throughout the colony. These guys are growing steadily and will continue all winter, so stay tuned for some sick stuff I plan to do with them. I want to take a second out of this video to shout out the antcollective.ca, a really cool ant keeping website where they sell queens and formicariums. I'm going to link them the top link in the description, but please remember, if you live outside of Canada, you cannot order the queens, but they ship formicariums and all other products worldwide. They're a trusted seller of mine and a good friend, so it would mean a lot to me if you guys want to at least check out the website. I plan on testing some of their nests out in the future. And with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you guys next week at 10am on Sunday. Peace out, guys. In, in.